149 here. The three-time champ, Yanni Diakamahalis, looking to become just the fifth four-time champion. Sammy Sass of Ohio State going for his first in our final match of the night. Our public address announcers here in Tulsa, Jason Bryant and Brian Hazard introduce one and two. The Buckeye, Sammy Sasso, his second trip to the finals. He lost against North Carolina's Austin O'Connor in 2021. A final score of 3-2 to two. earlier this weekend. He became Ohio State's ninth four-time All-American. Yanni Diakamahal is the eighth to achieve that at Cornell. But his sights are bigger than that. He's trying to become the fifth NCAA wrestler to win, to win four national titles. This is a match worthy of the tenth and final one of the night. And he's have to, gonna have to do it against an NCAA runner-up a couple years ago. Here we go. Sammy Sasso lost that uh, bout to two-time national champion now Austin O'Connor at 149. O'Connor started the night with a win over Levi Haynes of Penn State. And the Lions national champions for the 10th time in 12 years. And if you're Sasso, you're trying to disrupt the party tonight. You don't want this guy celebrating on you. You do not want to be a part of history. You want to be the guy that goes out and does something special this evening. And I think Sammy Sasso has put himself in position to do that this evening. Always been a great scrambler here. One, probably one of the best low single counters I've seen. He's an expert with the cradles. When guys get to his legs, he can wrestle really well. In this position right here, he gets, he tries to knock him over. He's got that little crotch lift situation. Elbow deep, look at how he the thigh. to the left. He's continuing to move and work those hips to the left. He's curling that right hamstring, doing a really good job. This is a power situation here for Sasso. He's very comfortable in this position. Once he locks up like that, it's a stalemate. Yanni finishes on most guys in that position, but that's a power position for Sasso. Now he gets to the leg. And look at that. That Sasso went with a toe touch. They ended up into a low single. Right. It's like, this right. guy's not going to move his foot. I think what initially started off as a fake yeah. ended up as a real, true low single. He's going to have a hard time finishing this, though. Diakama Hollis in the red has lost twice in his college career. He's going back to high school. 324 out of 326. One of the four-time champs he's trying to join. Kyle Dake is with Quinn. Four titles at four different weight classes. A guy who knows Yanni well, uh, wrestled with him, I guess, when Yanni was in high school. What is Yanni's superpower? Yanni can wrestle in every single position. He's just got to put himself in that fire so he can make things happen just like that. Get in there, start getting... Get. Yes, here we go. Finishing is the issue uh, uh, against Sasso, who's a great defender. Yep, Sasso's really good at catching ankles, wrestling into body cradles, catching feet. You got to keep moving in here. Kyle, what, what is Yanni dealing with in search of his fourth championship? You've been in his shoes. What are the challenges that this weekend presents? They're all behind him now. I mean, right now, it's all about the wrestling. He's in there. Once you get that first minute out of the way, it's just go. Now it's just freedom. This is the easy part that we're seeing right here. the easy part. The hard part's already done. He's got to just go out and compete, continue to put himself in a position to score. He's doing a really good job moving forward, controlling the pace of the match. He keeps going. He's really good in all these positions. Thank you, Kyle. Mike. Kyle Dake surrendered zero points in 10 matches that went a full seven minutes in his quest for four NCAA titles at four different weights. In that club, Kale Sanderson, Pat Smith, Logan Stieber, 
Yanni Diakamahal has won his first title back in 2018, another in 2019, and returned to the mat last year after 975 days away with a win over Nebraska's Ridge Lovett in the finals. Little peek at the clock here by Yanni with about 30 seconds left here. Kind of settled into his stance. Good period for though for Sasso. I agree, I agree. In this position, Sasso feels good about what he was able to do. He got to a couple single legs, he defended a couple of single right, legs, right. but he didn't give up any points going into the second period. Still tied and neutral. I think he's feeling good about it. If I'm not mistaken, I think that's our first scoreless first period. 10 bouts. I don't remember what I had for breakfast this morning, so I certainly don't remember the first <laughs> nine if we had scoreless periods, but when we look back on this tournament, of course, this is a phenomenal match. This is one of the most exciting from start to finish no doubt. we've had in quite some time. Yeah, literally every single match has been exciting. And I think it's mostly because these guys want to perform on the stage. It's not about just winning. It's about the manner in which you win. These guys want to put on a show. The, the stands are packed. We got a former president in the house. People are here to watch and be entertained, and this is what these guys are doing tonight. Roll through Whoa, look at that. Yanni, I'll tell you what, beautiful job. He's going to get the reversal. Kerber's up for two against Sasso. Tom Ryan's Buckeyes this year, five All-Americans, just one shy of their school record from six back in 2017. And this year, you've got Cornell sitting just two points ahead of Ohio State, third place and fourth place. Look at that acrobatics there. That's the same movement that caught a lot of guys on their back earlier, but Yanni was able to execute it. He slung those hips, and he was really poised with his body to get the reversal, and now he's tough on top. Let's see how he rides here. Yeah, they hit that cast over, but they attacked the far leg there, and that's a great way to go ahead and get out of that, uh, get a reversal off of the, you know, tripod or quad pod stand up. Reset red cover. Yanni feeling it here with the ride. He's been totally committed to it. Peeling hands. Nope. Uncontested there, basically getting out. Once you cover the fingers there, you give the top man a little bit of a feel like, you know, hey, I've got no chance on this thing. I might want to get anything big up. So he, he lets him go. Cornell looking for its first national champion since 20 minutes ago. Nice job of peeling out of that underhook. And the Buckeyes looking for their first since Kyle Snyder back in 2018 in Cleveland. So Yanni's doing a great job of sitting in the corner here. Sasso has to continue to build up. Notice he has that head underneath the Yanni's knees, but there's a lot of leverage with that. They're really attacking the leg. Now he's got Sasso. Look at the angle of the, the bend on that right knee there. Yeah, Sasso stopping. He looks like he's looking for stalemate. He's got to continue right. to wrestle here. Hold on to that foot, but also try to build his head and his hips up underneath. That's not that a strong leg. grip on that right ankle there. Trying to pull it out. And he's got the cradle. Yeah. He's got the cradle locked up. And you want to lock it tight to the head. And he's looking to finish this. How about this, coach? A potential fall. What strength from Sasso wow, to wow. build himself out of that. It really was. He knows that position pretty well. He was really fortunate not to give up the back points in that situation. Look at it. Cradle locked up. If he had that lock just a little bit tighter towards the head, maybe he gets it. But nice job of rolling through. See the scooting that Sasso was able to do underneath there? Wow. That's grace under pressure. 100%. <laughs> I've never seen anyone yeah. move so effectively in a cradle yeah. position. That was great job by Sammy Sasso. Yakima Hollis, the lead here to start. He cuts Sasso. Those have been his only two points on his skates. Well, we've seen where he's attacked the right leg of Yakima Hollis pretty well, but hasn't been able to finish. When we go back to the other side, though, before he gets a chance to decide, Yakima Hollis in on a shot. Wow, look at that yeah. leg slip. Trick knee leg slip oh, there. He's the best in the country at that. And I tell you what, Sammy Sasso's still in this match. He's gotten reversed, he's gotten cradled, but he's still in position. And Yanni's still shooting. He wants to finish this match off. Notice how he locks around the arm. Here. Yeah, but now he's looking to go ahead and score off this position. Shin Whizzer. Pressure back in, not worried about getting out. Looking to go ahead and defend the position like he's in the middle of the mat. This is high-level scrambling by yeah. both guys here. Oh. 
Tailmate on the edge. Here in Tulsa, our final match of the night. Yanni Diakamahalis of Cornell, Sammy Sasso, Kyle Dake, one of four four-time champions. He did it at Cornell. Diakamahalis could be the second from Ithaca. Again, another shot, Coach. He's all over that single leg. Sammy Sasso is doing a great job at defending and making it hard for Yanni to finish, but Yanni is still attacking. Roll through. But yeah, I think Sam, Sammy wants in on that leg. He wants him to go ahead and create a scramble situation here that he can go ahead and come through instead of having to take a shot himself. Now coming out the back door. And now we talk about high head, Coach. Look at that. He's got a leg behind his oh, back. Missed the ankle right there. Missed the ankle with that left hand. And we're short time here, and Sammy Sasso now is in the crack down position. Now he's and in the crotch. He's got an opportunity to finish. Now he's got a crotch lift situation. Can he get that right hand across in the roll through scramble, keeping his head high? Can he make the big turn, come underneath with the head and arm, and hit well, the He's got to get behind both arms, coach. He, he might. And time runs out on Sammy Sasso. The four time club welcome its, its fifth member and a standing ovation for Yanni Diakamahalis here in Tulsa. Congratulations, Yanni. I tell you what, we've seen how tough this tournament is this weekend. This is not easy to do. We've seen a guy win three in a row and then lose here. We've seen guys lose late and win early. This is a phenomenal performance by Yanni Diakamahalis. Congratulations and well deserved. <laughs> <laughs> there he is, he's making that gesture. We all know that gesture. First it was Smith, then Sanderson. Undefeated through his college career. Dake, four titles at different weights. Then Steber, and now a guy who can clearly, based on his resume, go by just one name, Yanni. And what a night for Mike Gray. Taking over the program when Rob Cole decided to go to Stanford. Two national champions on the night. Hughes on the mat with Yanni. He's got his teammates. You had some words for coach as you're walking towards him. What was it tonight? There we go. That's eight. Grade eight right there. Grade eight right there. You two met when you were in high school and he was wrestling at Cornell, correct? I, what, what, what impact did Kyle have on you? Kyle was my hero. Um, I don't say a lot because it's embarrassing because he's a, like family to me now, but he was my hero. I wanted to be just like him. Um, and then I spent time around him and it was even more like that. So, I mean, he paved the way for me. Not just by winning, by being the type of man he is. Paved the way. Let's back up to this match. Sammy is a worthy adversary, a really good defensive wrestler. He's hard to score on. Yeah. And you manage, you, you control the tempo. What was on your mind in terms of scoring? I just knew if I kept giving myself chances, getting in positions, it was going to happen. And the only way I wasn't going to score was going to be if I panicked, overreacted, you know, froze up. So just attack over and over. Give yourself chances. It's going to happen. He's going to let me in. It's going to happen. You're a, a scientist when it comes to wrestling. You're also a student. Pat Smith, Kale Sanderson. Logan Steber, Kyle Dake, Yanni. What's that mean? It's incredible. You know, I, I, this has been the, one of the hardest years of my life. Why? I've been going through some, some family issues I'm not going to talk about just for respect for that person, but it's been really hard. And, well, you know, without that person, I'd be nothing. And, um, you know, everything's going to be all right, but you had a big, testing. you had a cause. Yeah, I had a reason to do it. I used to get nervous, I used to get worked up for this, and now it's just like, whatever, man. The sun's gonna rise, my family's gonna be okay. We live with the rest. We've enjoyed watching you, what's next? Try to go win on the gold medal. You know, um, I was close, I was silver in the world championships. That's not gonna do it, what I just did. It's not gonna get me any, it's not gonna get me on the team. So I gotta do more, I gotta get better. But check off the box, Yanni four times, and uh, keep moving. Congratulations, it's been a pleasure. Thank you very much.